Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, I just had like, I don't know, I didn't sleep well. I had weird nightmares. It's cool, it's great. Um, and as a result, we probably won't be going as long tonight, but I am drinking a lot of caffeine. So I'll like hit a crescendo like about halfway into the stream and then I'll die and it'll be great. Um, As long as I get page past page 4063, uh, I should be good on RDA, which apparently is super important. Like, everyone's fighting over that. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I just, I've been having some weird ass insomnia recently. I don't know what's up with that. And it's just sort of like, well, I, I can't stop the world just to deal with it, you know? RDA is a fan animation. Yeah, it's it's apparently got spoilers about something or other, and that's why I've been avoiding it for as long as I have. But um, I have no idea what page number I'm on. Technically speaking, this is page 3,895. Uh, no, I, I had insomnia before this whole thing started, I'll be honest. Uh, what's popping off over there? It's been good. It's been good. I spent most of today editing. I spent a little time writing uh, some stuff for Town of Nowhere. Um, should be good. Should be real good. Watch the newest Astartes. Fucking excellent. If you haven't seen it yet, uh, it's a it's a Warhammer thing. Just look up Astartes on uh on YouTube. All five parts are out now, and that's apparently going to be the whole series. So, um, if you want to know what Warhammer is, it's good. It's incredibly well done animation as well. Uh, phase on suited. Think of the four months of support. We're gonna be um. When is episode 19 going to be out? It's going to be out tomorrow because it took a decent chunk of today to uh, render. After I recorded it, I had to spend some time uh, working on Two Point Hospital or the uh, highlight video for tomorrow, which, spoilers, I guess is that. Um, then I need to re-record the episode, then I need to render it, and then I needed to eat. And by the time the render got done, I needed to sit down and stream. So, here we are. Um... It will be uploaded and ready to go by tomorrow. I'm sorry about that. There's the 19 thing couldn't have been fixed uh, any time before now as far. Well, unless if I had noticed and I didn't because I'm dumb. Anyway, um, that yeah, it totally did. I think that was definitely the influence. But let's let's actually read this. Um, yeah, I, I feel like we can do something more than... Uh, I'll give you another Magnus light thing. See, the problem is that he agreed with me that Magnus did nothing wrong. Armon did nothing wrong. It's a much more controversial statement. He's like one of Magnus's sons. And um, he... he All the, the Space Marines have... Well, some of them have problems. Magnus's sons all have exploding head syndrome. Which Armon was like, I'm going to fix that. And um, then he fucked up. And uh, now they're all just walking suits of armor. So, there you go. Um, anyway. We didn't read this one yet, right? I remember waking up here after getting shot. Yes, what else? Then the cage buddy came, and he gave us the bomb. Where'd he go, anyway? She's around. Wait, what? This sounds like a... I, I feel like I'm reading this, like, halfway into the sentence. Like, is that where this starts? It is where it starts. Okay. Um, She's around. The bunny's a she. Her name is Liv Tyler. Dumb. Take it up with John. What else? We were talking about who should go. Do you remember what we decided? No. Wait. Wasn't I going to go? Is that what happened? Did I go now? I'm dead? Uh, no, wait. Wasn't I going to go? This is what happened. Uh, did I go now? Am I dead? Do you remember anything else? No. What about why you were fighting Jack? Sure, I did that. Uh, thank you for the five bits there. Uh, because it's picking off from the last bit uh, when Rose and Dave left off. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Slap my face and call me grandma. 
It's a continuation of the previous conversation. Okay. Um, and I should mention, this is like, we're not doing the third day thing right. And the, basically, like, I need to start reading hardcore if I'm going to be able to get to Cascade by um, 413. So that's, that's why I'm reading uh, today, even though I'm kind of tired, and why we're reading the day that another Homestuck video comes out. I think we'll continue to be doing that. That the day that Homestuck comes out, we'll probably try and read it to the best of my ability. Um, I might spice it up with other things in the meantime, but yeah. We're going to have to keep the Bilbo posting to a minimum. Uh, hard to explain with all the time shit going on. I don't even try to understand your light shit, do I? Uh, I don't know much about the light shit, to be honest. I may have missed my chance to figure it out. Haven't we already had this conversation? Mostly. I'm doing what I can to jog your memory. It's jogging, I guess. It's man boobs are jiggling a little. Nice. So what about Jade? What? You didn't tell her about your expedition with her uh, would result in your death, let alone that she'd inadvertently cause it. Uh, or that she'd be stuck with the job of resuscitating di you, did you? What was I really supposed to say? Hey, I'm gonna hunt. F we're gonna hunt for frogs till you shoot me through the jack. Uh, then we die, and then you've got to make out with me, and that kind of changes how this whole thing goes, doesn't it? Not if you're supposed to, right? What does that mean? I mean, I guess you're right. No reason to make an effort to emphasize if doing so comes at the price of oblivion. What the fuck? It's comforting to your ASPD tactically supported by predestination. Antisocial personality disorder. Oh no, this conversation just got bum rushed into a mudslide of fucking awful. It wasn't already. Believed you might be dead? I don't know anything about what I was feeling or what happened on Lolof Lof off. Is that right? Um We're all pavement faced and babbling your Thorofester speaking and flipping the shit while your own crazy dash would you guys really yeah it y'all want okay people are really upset that there's gonna be no bilbo posting and listen let's have a heart to heart for a minute let's, let's stop just for a second listen i know that bilbo posting is really important to you guys and just go ahead and ignore that sound effect but um what i'm trying to say is that um you know, we, we need to make sure that we actually read this because if we don't read this, if we don't get to 413, that would be bad. And people would be upset. People would legitimately be upset if we didn't get to 413 uh, and Cascade. Um, that being said, hey, check this out. Well, he fought with the goblin. 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 Now, why is that not working now? Okay, how about this? Okay, there we go. That's working. Now, there we go. Piano roll, A, copy, and then piano, paste, and then... Oh, it sounds so detuned and shit. I love it. It's so bad. So it's a disorder, a complex, and then a disorder again, for good measure? In your case, probably. Sounds like a positivity... God damn it, that asshole Rev is live again. And then a disorder again, for good measure? In your case, probably. Sounds like a positively delirious state of existence. It's all deliriously biznasty, alright? Oh, snap? Yeah, I'm gonna authorize a goddamn 
you may swipe at the door to check yourself into the burn ward. Might you loosen the purse strings on the, oh, no, he didn't? Nah, those are kept to emergency reserves for your mama jokes from the 90s. Anyways, I'm telling you, if I said anything about all that, she probably doesn't even fire her gun once, and all I'm doing is dragging her into a doomed timeline with me. I guess I'm learning to be impressed by your sense of obligation to inevitably inevitable misfortune. It's a strange case of inspirational through futility. None of this is that big of a deal. I just died or whatever. It's to mention the basics. I just mentioned the basics to her that I'd stop time traveling soon, break out of loops, not have to wonder all the time if I was taking the wrong turn and dooming everybody. I never, I was never that cool with this. With what? You know, how it turned out to be the incredibly shitty seer of light and basically failed at it. How you turned out to, wow, wow. You know, how you turned out to be an incredibly shitty seer of light and basically failed at that in every way imaginable. Hey, and maybe I never wanted to be a knight of time. Maybe I'd rather just be like Dave of Guy, you know, just some dude. These really do not sound like the words of someone ready to face his own death. The kind you don't wake up from, I mean, I guess not. I guess I failed my quest then. So like, now what, bitches? To nobody in particular, I guess. I mean, like, Dave is kind of right. Like, that's, that's, that's kind of fucking real, you know? Um, but Dave of Guy, you know, that, whoever Dave of Guy is, that guy died on Earth. You know, like, everyone else is dead. Dave of Guy, just random fucker, is dead. I'm not kidding him. Shut the fuck up. He just wants to be some dude. He doesn't want to be a hero. Being a hero, it's it's that thing. It's like, may you live in interesting times. It's true. <laughs> it's No one wants that life. And yet, because that's the case, he has to live through this bullshit. And it turns out that the best possible, the actual way that this story is supposed to go, is the one where he has to get shot by his friend. And he has to not explain that, else she won't do it or she'll fuck it up. The unseen bitches callously conspiring to expect greatness from you. Yes, those exact bitches. If that's how you feel, then why didn't you just insist on going to the mission to deliver the tumor? The black and whitened for giant yin yang bomb. Oh yeah, I remember that now. I guess that's what was supposed to happen. I delivered the bomb and now I must be dead. Are you sure? Is that wrong? Maybe you should try and answer this question. Why did you want to go? Because I made a map, so I know how to get there better. Also, it seems simple enough. I set the bearings to follow. See? The application pilots to the moon. Change course when necessary. Anyone can do it, really. We talked about this. Debated, if you recall. Abigail. Uh, if you remember this all so clearly, why are you grilling me on this shit? Will you just... Tell me what you're going to do. I'm just seeing if you can remember, if you're sticking to your story about why you should be the one to go. Well, I am, because I should, or I should have. Man, what the fuck is going on? Am I dead, or are you dead, or what? I'm doing all right. I'm just a little bit tired, that's all. I don't remember... I remember not liking Dave at first, but I genuinely don't remember why. Um, From what I've been told, every person who uh, cosplays as Kent, or Dave... Uh, is a fucking asshole. Um, so... Don't, don't trust anyone who cosplays as him? Um, I, I don't know. I think I might do Cascade by myself. Uh, but I definitely am gonna have, uh, some guest people, uh, soon. Um, sounds like, so yeah, the thunderstorms have been cr pretty crazy recently. I, I don't... Honestly, did not think that I was going to be able to stream this tonight. Uh, I thought it was going to be a problem. Um, for some of you, you may just be like, what's a little weather? Why is that a problem? In Texas, we don't, like, have hills or mountains or anything that really stops fucking weather. And so we just get crazy fucking, like, weather. Like, thunderstorms are an actual, like, problem. And if I didn't do computer stuff, it wouldn't be a huge problem. 
Um, but because I do computer stuff, thunderstorms like will shake your house. Like they are intense. Um, and I, I'm fine. Um, I, I'm, you know, I don't live on the first floor, so we're safe from flooding and that kind of thing. But, um, it, it's definitely like, I'd rather my computer not explode. Um, sort of like pouring water directly onto a plate. Um, instead of like, I don't know, on something that's not flat. It doesn't rain pretty often, Texas. Not really. It's just, it's been kind of weird weather with the whole, like, global warming situation going on. It's not actually, like, a threat. It's just, like, I probably shouldn't stream or use my computer during that time block while it's, like, thundering. Um, you just, you know, you, you turn off your computer, you unplug it, and you wait until it passes, and you plug it all back in. Uh, it's just to be extra ca cautious, because I don't trust surge protectors to be effective enough. I still have one, but just in case, I always just go ahead and unplug everything anyway. Uh, but anyway, it turns out everything's fine, so we're fine. Uh, spring has a lot of, like, very, like, crazy weather. Um, just seeing that if you can remember, if you're sticking to your story about why you should uh, be the one to go. Well, because I should, or I should have. Man, what the fuck is going on? Am I dead or are you dead? You're almost there, really. Just trying to remember a little bit more. What happened after we decided you'd go? Uh, oh yeah. We were trying to figure out a way to detach the moon so I could pilot it there. Fly into the sun. But the chain was huge. Couldn't think of how to break it. Then out of nowhere, this sword thing appears. So obviously I'm thinking I have to break the sword somehow because that's all I fucking do is break swords. Um, blow this thing to stand namesake music. Added some uh, to my playlist with catching up on your part five reactions. It's probably a pretty good playlist, honestly. A lot of the bands that he references in part five are, are good. I don't really care for part five, I'll be honest, though. But, you know, um, the the guy who uh, is the boss man's uh, stand, it's a good band. Don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it's a good band. But I'm thinking of how I put my hand on it and it just snaps off with this comical shattering noise like I just fucked up some priceless shit in the Louvre the legendary piece of shit see like that I just did it again with my hands cause of dream bubbles remember when that happened mm -hmm. and then I took it and sliced the chain like this damn still cuts like it's plowing through a shaft of boneless zombie meat careful I just managed to quell my appetite after all that burger talk. Whoops. Yeah. Right, because that conversation did kind of just happen. So then the moon started drifting away, and I was going up to fly. I was going to fly up and take it to the sun. I said something to you. I was going to, like, say bye or something. You were just standing there not saying anything, holding that bar ball of yarn. Oh, then. Oh, God, that's right. Um, thank you for the five bits there. Slap my face and call me grandma. She watched the first vid by Ted's talks. Big broke down a lot of Homestuck game stuff with simple computer science. I'm sure it kind of almost works. Like, it, it seems like it, you know? Like, as much as I understand it, uh, what's the next, uh, chart compilation thing? The, the chart? It's right here. What do you mean, chart compilation thing? Y you mean this clusterfuck that I've been making? I need to, like, probably zoom in on areas so that way I can fill in more, but yeah. Ignore the impreg. Did anything get added to the chart yet? No, we're only, like, 19 minutes into this. The summary videos. A summary video of, uh... Text talk avoids verbal spoilers, but visual spoilers are rampant. Oh, I see. Um, I thought about doing one, uh, for tomorrow's video, but, um, I, I realized that I couldn't get it done in time. I think that's might be next week's video. Um, but yeah, I've been, uh, I've been more or less just focusing on the town of nowhere recently. I apologize for that. I know that like Homestuck shit is happening. It's important and, uh, all that, but um you know 
the 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 town of nowhere is currently having the like town of nowhere equivalent of like the pause they're wanting to know when the next homestuck video on the main channel will happen um so, uh, I'm trying to not have a giga pause for the town of nowhere. The town of nowhere mini pause. The goblin pause. Come on, knocking me out so you can steal a suicidal mission. God damn it, that's so trite. I really am sorry for that. It's like, here's how bad this is. We were basically Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck from John's sh shitty crappy movie. Then... Uh, you made this even more Arge Armageddon than it already was. Stealing me in an airlock so I could go home to Liv Tyler and have the most terrible babies with her. If it's any consolation, Liv Tyler came with me on the suicide mission. The bunny or the actress, which would make you feel better? You're not knocking me out with the ball of fucking yarn is fucking what? The Bilbo paws. Um, eh, you know. Oh, hey, four fans. Thank you for the hosts. We're getting close to Cascade. Um, not quite there yet. 3,904. Um, the, the next town I know is going to be good. I just, I need the extra time. How are you doing? I heard that you got past, uh, Cascade. Apparently it was good. Where were we? We just did Cascade. Is hella good. Is it gonna live up to the hype that everyone's like bringing it to? <laughs> so you're done. All right. The music is so good. It killed the internet. Yeah, sure. I'm just wondering, for someone who didn't catch it originally, um, is it still good? You know? That's where you ended at the start of Act 6. Right. I know it crashed. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost halfway done. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much of it. Um, which would make you feel better? You not knocking me out with a ball of fucking yarn is fucking what? If I could have chosen a method for sparing your life, you might have found a more awesome. I would. Is there a more ironic way I could do that? This probably comes close to that, but it doesn't make it not lame as hell. Does it matter if I took some personal satisfaction in seeing you fall unconscious at the gentle glance of a soft cotton globe? It's cool of you. It's cool you were so tickled by this. I hope you. It brought you a lot of rad laughs on your way to go fucking explode. So that's it. I'm actually lying here on Durst asleep, and you went out there and blew up the sun. And now you're dead in a dream, just chilling with your smug ghosts. Yes to the first part. So you're not dead. Not yet. Then you're dreaming. You're taking a little nap on the moon in the middle of nowhere. Afraid not. I'm wide awake. Oh my god. That that's that is that's going to be a problem. I thought I was going to die with all the exposition at the end of act 5. I'm scared. Pixelbot, think of it the sub. Uh so I think I've read all these now, right? We left just the one. She died, well, yeah, she died previously, just not right now. Oh, good. There's more. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. These are, these are slow going pages. I missed one? Which one did I miss? Hold up. We did this one. We did this one. I remember that. And then this one was short. Is there another one in here somewhere? did that one these these two were really short as was this one really yeah we did these we did the hat one it was really short it's like just the grandma getting the thing and that's it yeah i got them all 
You can read those? Well, I'm reading them now, so you're not missing much. Uh, this is kind of hard to read, I'll be honest. Click the panels, flashing. And someone's knocking on his door. Let's try this one. It's probably short. Oh. <laughs> Eureka! Stand by for clarification. Re-enthusiastic outbursts. Yes. It is as I hope from beyond... Uh, for beyond hope. Usually devices may be used to duplicate fresh, perfectly pressed garments. Inexhaustibly... I've... I have no idea who this is. Uh, Stardust Desire. Thank you for the host. Um, these are a collection of words. I have no idea who Fedora Freak is. I don't think we've... Is that Grandma? Um, this guy's class spec is gentle of piss. Okay. Uh, thank you for the, uh, the five bits. Slap my face and call me Grandma. These are one of his, uh, friends. Okay, I see. Um, reconstructing completely professional ensemble now holds. Please to report restoration of dapper visage and overwhelming success. Alas, devices appear to hold no such promise. Departed, uh, family members misplaced handheld steam press. Update on device utility. Com Combinative apparel synthesis presents intriguing possibilities. Now combining expensive leather pipe tobacco sleeve with handsome gray fedora to document short uh, results shortly. Got it. It's one of dad friends. Got it. Um, resulted in a hat with an outlandish and frivolous appearance. Do not care for it. Will shall discard immediately. Combination with pants, fine cotton shirt, even more disappointing. Yielded useless an excessively tall pant relieving uh relieving from wardrobe at once made unwelcome determination production requires expense of glittery abstractions called gris jewels obtained from in cash libation reserve and premium consumed final swallow of carefully rationed urine bear grills Soon to seek water elsewhere in exotic new, uh, exotic new surroundings. More importantly, to seek grist facilitating continued accessorization. Notes to self. Use spoils to make more hats. Preparing for expedition to reap gems from mischievous l local fauna. Crafted sturdy bludgeoning instrument out of uprooted mailbox. Tall pant perhaps adaptable as defensive garment. Pardon while donning tall pant. Don tall pant. Were the updates sparse enough to allow for Fedora Freak cosplays back in the day? Uh, so, like... All I know of him is that he drinks his own piss and talks like he's filling out a fucking formal, like, report. Bear Grylls is a valid tro uh, homestuck kid name. Okay. Um... Tall pant, perhaps adaptable as defensive garment. Pardon while donning tall pant, don tall pant. Confidence in martial prowess perplexingly swells. Ventured out, per powering down gray, serviceable, handheld competing device to preserve battery. Additional updates to s be submitted in frank and forthright manner for a judicious appraisal within reasonable time frame. TIA for patience. Aren't all situations just formal reports? No, I'm... Most situations for me are informal reports. This guy was added so that Hussey could show John and the gang aren't the only humans playing the game. Since a lot of people didn't understand that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was literally just saying, like... If Dave was of guy, he wouldn't be alive. Like, yeah. With While Humpstuck was edit updating... Every time a new character was introduced, like, within hours, you would see cosplays, no matter how complicated. Jesus. <sighs> yeah. That's fucking insane. That sounds right, though. Um, turning on handheld devices for a brief report. Severe injury sustained in skirmish with un 
true size, sportive rascal. Tall pant, remarkably unremarkable and protective utility. Damage, badly bloodied. No indication of laundering facilities throughout Enchanted Land whatsoever. Losing fluid rapidly. Maintaining adequate hydration levels more important than ever. Libations, unfortunately not forthcoming. Rest needed. Seeking surface suitable for assuming a crying posture. Strength depleting. Tie loosened, removed, rolled up neatly, and tucked beneath hat. Minimal stamina left for disrobing, sodden tall pant, leaving on. Encountered rest surface. Horizontal stone slab exhibiting unidentified iconography. Tall posts at each corner, mystifyingly inviting. Mounting slab, exhaustion taking hold. Excuse me, sir. At pipe friend. Rivska sounds pretty close to Vriska. Thank you for censoring Vriska for me, but I think I can take it. Unfortunately, I already know who that is. Um, but thank you for letting me know. Um, where was I? Uh, excuse me, sir. Friend, sound of voice nearly refreshing enough to distract from perpetual taste of warm, poorly filtered urine. Oh my, no, I'm not actually your friend, dear. I'm his mother. Another legendary pranks. Pray, please clarify. Pull, pull, clarify. If why prepared for regard is hilarious. Uh, were that I, were that it was. I'm sorry to say that no. Chicanery. I don't know that word. Um. In play at all today. Though, yes, it would be quite a doozy. I believe in the late great colonel would surely say we were cooking up, we're cooking with petrol upon hearing such a whopper. No, I'm an old woman looking for her son. Understand, madam. Understood, madam. Uh, you remind me of him. Would you mind terribly if I talked to you for a little while? I'm fearing the worst for my son. He's bleeding out right now, just as an aside. Not your son. Your son's dead. But, like, your son's friend is bleeding out. It's really a bad time for a lot of people right now. Um, oh, my grandson is off doing great things. I've caught myself feeling a little bit lonely. Um, can you imagine no greater pleasure, though eyes heavy, getting dark, feeling extremities fading? But you must be exhausted from your travels, poor thing. Why don't you just lie there and rest, and I'll tell you a story. Thank you. Thank you! Oh, excuse me. It's okay, yeah, he's, I, I realized it was a quest bed. Um... Though he does have to be kissed on his quest bed, right? Thank you. Allergies um, are just going crazy. Like, mold? If you got mold allergies or pollen allergies right now, like, we had to, like, drop off some stuff at Tilda's work because she's been working at home. Uh, we had to drop off some stuff from Tilda's work today. And just the car was green. I have a silver car. I hate spring in Texas because it makes your car green. Regardless of what the fuck color it's supposed to be, it's green now. Excuse me. So I just sat in the car while she dropped stuff off. Um... If you get kissed on your quest bed, you won't go god tier, tier and you'll lose the chance forever. Okay, I thought that was part of going god tier, but no, it wasn't. Being kissed allows you to revive as your dream self? Oh, it is pipe fan 413, isn't it? You cheeky fuck. Uh, the witch in truth was a world famous baking baroness. Did I miss a page? Oh, raised by a wicked witch. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the wicked witch in truth was world famous baking baroness. Her cruelty made, is this, is this about is Betty Crocker? Her cruelty made life miserable for two children who do not have their father anymore to protect them. He was... The greatest prankster who ever lived. A true southern gentleman. He was killed by a comment on the day that... No, it's not, apparently. Um, 
It was killed by a comet the day that the boar it was born, and wicked Baroness raised them alone, with a hand as firm as which she could rain, ran her brutal baking empire. Okay, maybe it is. The children pledged to each other that one day they would run away together. They followed in the footsteps of Dura Colonel in defiance of the old batter witch, and they studied his every jape and practiced them in secret. But as they grew older, their interests drifted apart. The boy developed a passion for adventure and put aside his study of practical jokes. He dreamed of wealth and fame and discovery. He swore he would wander the world. One day he decided he would run away with the loyal dog, and he inherited for their father. He asked the girl if she would come along, but she was too scared of retribution that might follow. The boy scoffed at the danger and assured his sister that it was nothing to worry about, but he had not seen firsthand what the Baroness was capable of. He told his sister that he believed her and that she could handle whatever the witch would could throw at her. That was it. He was off. She would not never see the, her him again. The Baroness would raise her very strictly, mentioning her in the art of baking. The girl took the lesson with fierce determination. Her only act of defiance left was the one day surpass the Baroness in skill and beat her at her own game. It was all she could do. The Baroness made her sure that she knew there was no escape. <clears throat> what does Betty Crocker think of Homestuck? Oh man, switching from black text to white text? Um, Betty Crocker, I think, is sort of like, um, Mavis Beacon. I don't think Betty Crocker's a real person. Spoilers. Also, Mavis Beacon is not a real person. Also, half the people in this chat has no idea who the fuck Mavis Be Beacon is, do they? I love the fu Yeah, Mavis Beacon isn't fucking real. She's not. She's not real. Mavis fucking Beacon is not real. Mavis Beacon. Mavis Beacon teaches typing. This was like, if you fucking had a computer in the 90s to 2000s, you saw this this woman teaching you how to do a, a fucking reports. And because I was homeschooled, this is the kind of stuff that we would like use. And this is how we would, you know... This is this is what I did. It explains a lot about my behavior, actually. To understand that I... Oh, I fucking remember this one. Oh, I fucking remember that game. Anyway, she's not real. She's a fake person. She's not a real person. Not real. Mavis Beacon is not a real person. The original photo of Mavis Beacon was a Caribbean-born model, Renee that. She was introduced... To, yeah, she's not... She's not a real person. She's fake. I'm sorry. Sorry I was the one who had to tell you that. Thought you guys were old enough to... To take this information, but... I'm sorry, Mavis Beacon isn't real. What's Mavis Beacon up today? She... Nothing. Betty Crocker is not a real person. Betty Crocker isn't real either. She's immortal. It's it's like fucking yeah, she's not fucking real either. But Homestuck said she was. Who the fuck is real? Wait, what happens if you search? Okay, nothing. Oh yeah, no, I remember that. I was like, what the fuck is that? Alright, anyway. You're covering this conspiracy too early. No, I, I knew, but I already knew that. I already knew that shit. Think of the pages per minute. I'm doing my best. The girl took to the lessons of fierce determination. Her only act of defiance was left one day to surpass the Baroness in skill and beat her in her own game. That she, 
could do uh, for the Baroness made sure that she knew that there was no escape. The girl surely missed her brother. Imagine hearing the story while bleeding to death. Literally bleeding to death on a stone bed made for you to die on. And soon enough, he archived fame for his exploit or exploits, yes. She followed him in the newspapers and tales of remarkable discoveries, inventions, and riches. How she wished she could join, rejoin him and free, uh, be free from the toils of the pastry hag. One day, the girl was able to gather enough bravey, bravery to mention her brother to the Baroness and her desire to see him again. With contempt, she guaranteed that this could never happen. When the girl asked why, the Baroness began to reveal to her more than just baking secrets. She mentioned that, like many in fairy tales, there was more to the child's past than they knew. The Colonel was not their father, nor the Baroness their mother, and in fact they had no father or mother at all, nor were they ever actually born. They had fallen from the sky. They were not actually brother and sister, and they had been told either. Again, like... Many fairy tales, the truth was that they were always destined to become married one day. It's like those fucking weird ass Hungarian. Uh, do, do you got. Am I the only one that subscribed to the Hungarian, like, fairy tales channel? Because they just started uploading again, and man, that was a fucking drought there for, like, at least, like, I don't know, a couple months, and then suddenly it's back. And it's fucking great. Hold up now. YouTube. I can't play any of this for you because you will get copyright claimed if I do. This entire fucking channel is a shit post. It is completely incoherent. Um, these are apparently real folk tales. They are just absolutely fucking insane. It's wonderful. Don't do drugs, but if you do do drugs, watch this. Um, it'd be interesting. And you're probably gonna have, like, nightmares. Anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, they would have children, a son and a daughter, and these children were meant to save the world. But the Batter Witch was determined to make sure that the destiny would never be realized. In her limitless cruelty, she would do all in her power to keep them apart for the rest of their lives. The girl, that day, swore that she would bring down the Baroness in her evil empire. She would use the many secrets that she had learned over the years against her, and began carefully plotting her downfall. Yeah, no, I got that much. How do you copy? Well, it's the the reading, and is there a folk tale where they fuck the goblins? I don't think. Yeah, I wanted to do, I wanted to do a video where I I like broke down those videos, but they just they copyright claim you if you even try. It, but like just the the. It's all read as if the person doesn't understand the cadence in which you're supposed to read stories. And so just incoherent sentences will, like, follow each other as fluently as any sentence that I could possibly tell you. Like, how I'm talking to you right now and how each sentence continues on from the next, that's how they just say weird shit. Just, like, storybook reading. Yeah, except for it's it's insane. It's so weird. Anyway, um... Years went by and the girl uh, was nearly ready to put her plan into the action. But then, just like that, the Baroness disappeared. And she was never seen or heard from again. The girl was finally free and by a strange turn of events, but not without the final jab from the witch. It turned out that in her will, she had left the entire company to the boy. The boy, now a grown man, was already very wealthy in his own right. He had no particular need for a baking empire, but he assumed control nonetheless and integrated the company into his extensive collection of enterprises. The girl, instead of seeing this as more misfortune, took the news as relief. She just as soon had nothing to do with the witch's empire and preferred to pursue her original passion for practical japery. She considered a reunion with her estranged brother, but then... And once destined husband to be, 
But the days of longing for a future with him seemed to be from another lifetime. The chance had come and gone, and she was content to let him live an increasingly elaborate life while she sought a simpler one. Besides, now is not the time to revisit a destiny with an old Starkov lover. Sorry, I lost my train of thought because this text is really bad for my eyes. Um, she had recently become betrothed to a fine, upstanding gentleman. Soon, she would start a family. No, not one meant for heroism as foretold, but one that would make her happy nonetheless. In the following years, she was left to ponder all that might have been. What might have been if there had been no Baroness to keep the girl and the boy apart? What would have been if the Baroness had not disappeared and she had the opportunity to use her secrets against her? For you see, the girl had discovered so many dirty secrets about terrible Batterwitch, including the most troubling one of all. Of course, no one would have believed her, but she knew. She knew the Baroness was not human. Fedora's Gray's serviceable handheld computer die, uh, device battery has died. And also died. Died. Zoomed in highlighted the text. I, I guess that would make it better. Um, I should probably add that to the chart. So, okay. So, we already knew. Where's my little, like... But they're related. Where's dad? Not genetically? They're just raised as siblings. Right, yeah, no, they're not actually related. But... Adoptive brother. Dad is technically Jade and John's half-brother. Okay, hold up. So let's just do this. Nan. Grandma. Alright. And then... Um... Grandpa? No. No. No, that's not right. Okay. Bro? Grandpa. But by grandpa, I mean Jade's grandpa. And then... I'm very tired. <laughs> Nana, Jade's granddad, and bro, and Rose's mom. God, you just said things. Um, all right. Uh, so then, not this. And then, somehow. No? no? God damn it. Okay, so this is right. Grandpa. So they, they... They boned. Okay, this is right. And then... Dad. Which is... Not... No, they didn't bone. Uh, they... Okay, so then... Just go ahead and do this situation. Ectobiology. Right. And then... John? <laughs> Use dotted lines for ecto. Sure. Nope. Jade? Just gonna start putting names in here until this is right. This is right, right? 
Dash lines for Ecto. Almost. Okay, so dad is just... And then John is just here for some reason. John is not directly related in that way. So this is just a normal ass fucking child. Dad is a normal fucking child. However... Nan is... And then grandpa... Miss? Did I get it right? <laughs> Where dotted lines mean ectobiology happened and sh normal s just undashed lines are are like normal children. So that is not that is that is related to John. Can I share a link to the family tree? No, it's probably not a good idea cuz is any of this going to be spoilers cuz it seems like that would be a spoiler. Can I post the link? I feel like that would be a spoiler. Not going to lie. Man of fucks. Right. Just not by blood, but also by blood because slime Um, okay, I'm just going to go and start a chart because, uh, I feel like this is going to be a reoccurring thing. So how about this? We just, uh, I'm just going to redo these lines here and just, we just add a section to this chart, trying to make sense of any of this garbage because we've already done it a little bit, but I feel like it needs to be done again. Because uh, we're going to have issues later on if we don't have this straight. Um, and also gives my eyes a little bit of a fucking break from whatever that nonsense was. Because uh, that, that text combination... Like, I don't know. I just like burning my eyes out on white backgrounds. Um, Nan and Gramps have... No, but they're related through ectobiology, right? They're not genetically related. And this is just a normal fuck. Ecto. They aren't related. So that, they're clones of themselves. This is a normal fuck right here. I'm gonna re, re, redraw this line. Normal. Fuck. Thank you for the five bits. Slap my face and call me grandpa. Uh, or grandma. <clears throat> Nana and Gramps aren't related to each other. They're just clones. Nana cloned from Nana. Grandpa cloned from grandpa. Sure, I'm just going to continue reading because Chad is making less sense. We already read this one, right? Tell me we already read this one. We didn't read this one already, did we? Okay, no, we didn't. Okay. I'm piloting the moon through the furthest ring right now. At the moment, I'm passing through dream bubbles. I'm visiting one of your dreams in person. Or you're the one visiting me as I travel in your sleep. If you would rather look at it that way. Okay, so I have all these, all those questions you asked me. Getting me to remember. You were just stalling me, weren't you? So I wouldn't wake up and try and stop you. Not exactly. This sucks. Could you just please turn this thing around and come back? Why? I'm already out of here. Might as well go through with it. Yeah, I... We agreed I'd do it, though. Or at least 
you'd pretended to agree. Maybe you're just going into Major League Windup with your nap yarn. Major League Windup sports. It's always been pretty sad that I seem to know more about sports than you, which is really saying something. All I'm saying is, did you know that, um, sorry. So you know how like, um, football players might have like eight. That's Troy Aikman's number back in like the Dallas Cowboys, uh, when he was still playing and not doing like weird ads and, uh, talking about sports. That was his number, right? Incredible quarterback. Apparently I don't give a shit about sports. Anyway, eight, that's the number, um, that's on the back of his Jersey. This is a lone known fact about uh, sports, but your number uh, is actually related to the position you are and the position you are. Uh, so for instance, like the, the single digit numbers are like eight and uh, you know, four, I think it was Brett Favre, who was another good quarterback back in the nineties. Uh, these, these, those were all quarterbacks. And that's because in order to be a quarterback, your ability to eat, uh, footballs has to be fairly like small, right? Whereas if you're a linebacker, you got to have a big number. Uh, obviously the number is based on how many footballs you can eat and put into your mouth all at once. Uh, Troy Aikman could only eat eight footballs before being full. Um, whereas someone who is like, uh, I don't know, fucking, you know, if you're like a wide receiver or something, your, your number is going to be somewhere in like the teens, right? Uh, your, your ability to have to eat footballs increases. This is also true with basketball. Um, where, um, but you'll notice that their numbers are much smaller on average. Your ability to, uh, eat basketballs is incredibly different. See, like if Shaq decided to become like, uh, like his number was like, what, what was Shaq's number? I want to say like 13 or something. Shaq's uh, jersey number. Uh, Shaq's jersey number was 34, all right? For a basketball player, that's pretty fucking good. But for a football player, that's different, you know? No, basketball numbers are still based on how many basketballs you can eat. Shaq would be a much higher number if he were a, uh, a football player. Do you see what I mean? Now, if you want to know really where it's at, golf people, they do this as well. What number, what number is, is, is fucking Tiger Woods? Anyone know that? He doesn't have a number because Tiger Woods is a fucking coward and he doesn't know he's never even attempted to eat any golf balls and that's why golf is a stupid fucking sport please read yeah I'm reading now sorry the pages per minute is crying it's fine it's fine uh, thank you for the uh, five bits Tired banana. <coughs> anyway, sports are fucking stupid. Um, I tweeted you the family chart. Thank you. It's always been pretty sad that I seem to know more about sports uh, than you, which is really saying something. All I'm saying is no one likes a basketball hog. It's probably just ball hog. I think you should know that the athletic arena of competitive achievement is widely known that cherry picking posers get showered in nothing but booze don't gank the rock and steal the big man's thunder on his raucous drive to the hole oh lord is that some sort of ignominy that you want didn't consider sports you were never considered the sports see you didn't consider the sports you never consider the sports he has the rock yeah that was a weak ass burp tennis is epic tennis they're weak too they don't even bother No one even bothers to eat golf balls. And that's why golf is a stupid sport. <sighs> well, 
last thing I want to do is come between the man's big thunder and any big particular hole he might prize. And yet, such is what happened. It's like a tight end went was going along down the yard, sudden death. It's me. Hockey's like this as well. Um, wait, I didn't know that about tennis. Tennis rankings are based on how many meters of net you can consume. Okay, so that's fine. Um, what about bowling? They don't have numbers, do they? Did corn does cornhole have numbers? We're not getting to Cascade tonight. <laughs> Please eat your homestuck, Rev. Sorry, sorry. Um, no, I don't think there's any chance we're getting to to Cascade tonight. Uh, the last thing we wanted to do is come between the big man and the Sunder and uh, any particular hole he might prize. And yet, such has been what happened. It's like the tight end was going down the long sun death and the tight end, the quarterback sniped the field goal just before the NFL buzzer went off. Greedy QB is you. It's not even close to being a thing in football. Have you guys seen the XFL? You should see the XFL. It's fucking awesome. They uploaded the old episodes to YouTube. It's fucking stupid as shit. You'd like it if you like Homestuck in that um, it's ridiculous and it's kind of great. Um, it's it's like it's like football, but wrestling. I'm deathly allergic to sports. You're killing me. You could you could do golf then. They decide who wins the coin flip at the beginning. So in regular football, they do a coin flip. And then whoever wins gets to decide to, like, kick or receive the ball. And then it just goes from normal from there. But in the XFL, they just do a diss off. And whoever wins ends up having... Um, like, getting the ball first. Anyway. Uh, it's me, the tight end, and the, the blah, blah, blah not even a thing but instead of winning the gold sports prize you just fucking die and nobody cares and it didn't mean anything what prize is that the football prize you mean the vaulted and accolade associated with the gridiron known as the stanley cup no come on it's called the bruce babardi trophy or something it's a best pile squad i'll take your word for it even though you're all dead and these fat millionaires in helmets just leap on your corpse anyway and just pile up i mean way up how high up do they have to be? Sports piles don't stop from getting taller. If you want... Listen, I feel like Homestuck has never been about the reading the words. It's been about the experience that you get along the way and the friends you meet. Maybe the real Homestuck were the friends we made along the way. Unironically is what I just said. And I think it's true. Um... So that's that's why it's a thing. <sighs> Do you care if you'll be dead like a mission thieving poser like you are? Poser? So not cool. Yes, poser. It should be my torso getting pulverized by the av avalanche of overpaid beefcakes, and you know it. I forget what we were doing exactly. We were pursuing the hackneyed debate on who's the best claim uh, to self-sacrifice or seeing who could out-dumbass the other with obtuse sports lingo. There's obviously stopped being a difference between things, and the question is offensive. Almost as offensive as you stalling me while you're peeling out here on your dumb moon. I'm the one who's stalling? The moon is probably just a speck in the sky now due to your strange beefcake harang. Wait. But yet, oh, I don't know how to wake up. Uh, back up is the thing. How do I wake up? I guess you could wake you back up if you want. Okay, do it. But you have to promise to stay put. And don't try and stop me. Just let it go. Well, this is my mission. Come on, this is my mission. 
Yeah, I don't really like the the Hus Nasty. It's not not a fan. Um, I don't think you can accurately count how many pages I am from from Cascade at this point. It's just fucking weird ass numbers. Um, we're we're doing like choose your own adventure number reading now. Um, really no sense in. Uh, for you to go. This is never your preoccupation. They selected me a long time ago. It d doesn't make sense. Why would they drag me into it just to have me m make a map and then let you ditch me? They've obviously been gunning for me too. Yes, they helped you chart the path for the ring and they will open the path for you to pilot they marked, but I believe I fit the description. I'm sure you... I'm not sure about you. Why do you think that? I'm the pilot. That's all there is to say in the matter. But I don't want you to die. Help John and Jade. This isn't right. I'm not going to help you wake up. I'll stall more. You admit that you're stalling with all this bullshit. I said not entirely. What do you mean? It's going to be a long ride through the nothingness. Maybe just thought some company would be nice before it's all over. So what will it be? What? I'll wake you up, but only if you promise to rejoin the others. Could you give a message to John for me? Sure, but if, I prom if I'm promising not to chase you down, then there's really n any hurry to wake up. Are you sure? I was looking forward to bowling another wicked googly with yarn. Sportsways. Nah, I'll stay asleep for a while. Okay, what'd you want me to tell John? What was that? What? Did you hear something? No. I thought I heard something outside. Who's this douchebag? I mean, bag. I'm scuttering, or stuttering. This dude is making me nervous. Oh, douche dag. You don't remember him? No. I guess this isn't a memory. So he's actually here with us on the moon. Not with us, just me. You're still on Dirish, remember? Oh, well, here's... Can you tell John something? Yeah, sure, what? Wait a minute, who's this asshole? Good conversation. Ray Duin, or Duran. Thank you for the two months of support. Is it... Is it Flash? It's Flash. But it's not uh, S, so it's fine. And they didn't do the Hus nasty. That's good. Oh, wonderful! Another interruption. Sure, we did, read that one. We just got to do uh, four more. Okay. How about we take a quick BRB? And I'll read like another couple here in a minute. Um, today's Chronog game is Mafia Three. Considering that. Yesterday's was Mafia 2. I'm seeing a trend. I don't remember if the day before last was Mafia 1, but like... I'll say what I said about the last one. I played one of them. I don't remember which one. Might have been Mafia 3. It was alright. It's 8 bucks. 9 bucks, excuse me. 78% off. Something to do if you got nothing else to do, I'm sure. The Humble Bundle right now, by the way. There's a Humble Bundle uh, related to this whole, like... Uh, COVID-19 thing that we're dealing with and um, it's 30 bucks or more to get like a whole bunch of random shit but it's good shit like oh, every game on that list that I have is good um, the Humble Bundle is amazing it's got Hive Swap apparently and Undertale there you go it's 30 bucks and you get fucking a whole bunch of stuff and it helps uh, the, uh, the effort to try and get rid of this thing that's affecting all of us how many games like, it's not just games. It's also, like, audiobooks and a bunch of other stuff. I'm probably gonna... I'm probably gonna get it. I think it's only if I, I tag the video as that. Because I noticed that I, I brought it up in an older video on this. Back when we didn't know where this was going. And we didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Um, it's interesting to have those uh, inaccurate statements from the past still around. But, yeah. Um, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's an incredible value. And it's pay what you want, but 30 bucks is the minimum. Um, and it's, it's fucking great. Um, hot take audiobooks are dumb. Okay, I like audiobooks because... Have you heard me read before? Anyway, um, I'll be back in like two minutes... I honestly recommend the Humble Bundle over the Chronog thing. Like, the Chronog thing makes me money if you buy it, but, like, the the Humble Bundle is just a legitimately good deal that also helps deal with something that is causing 
a lot of suffering in this world. And, um, I don't know. No, I know a lot of people are just looking for a way that they can like help or deal with it or, you know, something. And, um, that, that might be, that might be a thing you could do. Anyway, I'll be back in, um, I'll be back in like a minute 30 BRB. That one guy, you know, thank you for the 10 months of support. As the kids say, come. All right. Well, it's regrettable. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute 30. BRB. Welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Do 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 do. It's good. It's a good song. We're back anyway. With more homestuck. Uh, I'm dying. Hi, hi everyone. Hello, and everyone in chat. Don't read my other post. It's totally fine. I'm not. Um, I already have to read so much. Um. Please don't die. Uh, I'm doing my best. Is your BRB and intro screen inspired by Art Deco and Metropolis uh, type styles? It's uh, specifically Art Deco, but yes. Uh, banners again. Yes. Th that's. I mean, I already saw that one, so it's just... Yeah. All right. Um... Trying to follow the Town of Nowhere OC guide you made real quick. Let me know how it turns out. Um, the uh, the actual creating of characters beyond the sprite is, you know, a different thing. Uh, I read the uh, s spoiler-free version of the chart that uh, Lixa gave me on the break. And it looks like I got it right. It looks almost exactly like what I did, but less dumb looking. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so thank you for that, Lixa. Um, let me click more of these. I'll just start going this way. So this is uh, based on what happened on uh, with the, the follower guys. He's talking to Spade, which is, of course, now Jack. Friendly enemies are here. The ring is still missing, though. Wait, this thing is game two gone, too? So dumb. Actual mission. Okay. Notice. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh. 
Poor mayor. I like the mayor. It's probably one of my favorite characters. So, to be clear, this is not... Mayor is the best character. Mayor uh, may not be the best character anymore. Mayor may be dead. Maybe Mayor may have been the best character, but, you know, he, he's dead, so he can't be the best. Still, uh, here comes... Okay. Thank you for the five bits there. Slap my face and call me grandma. All right. I busted into... So these, these two... This is a failed timeline version of... Dave, who came back and threw himself into the fucking Colonel Sprite in order to help. Too soon. But this Jade is legitimately the Jade that was the dream Jade that died. Okay. I busted into his palace to finish the quest. I was expecting him to be asleep. I was going to figure out some way to wake him up. But like last time, I saw him, but he was already awake to greet me. But I thought the Dizens were supposed to be asleep. At least until you do the right thing on your quest. They are. The sprites are programmed to know things that are about the game. I guess it's not everything. It seems like if you try and fight them too, you'll find them awake and they're like, what the fuck are you doing here already? Which has already happened because last time I saw him before the, I became a sprite, I simply tried to fight him, which was really a bad idea because he's hella strong. And the whole time he was raving about shit, about a stolen sword, about missing forge, a uh, missing forge. If I had, I might have understood it was actually trying to kill me. He was giving me a choice. What's the choice? I mean, given the choice. I was sorry, I forget. I can talk and underline for important shit. What did you choose? I guess I made an unwitting dis choice to decide to flee. I figured he was unbeatable, so I decided to get the fuck out of there. So I snapped a quick captcha to get his huge hammer code and got the fuck out. What happened when you saw him this time? Like I said, he was awake again, but this time I wasn't in any condition to fight, so I didn't. That's what I didn't get. He's a terrible, angry, monstrous guy, but there's no need to fight him. So he looked me up and down all hard, and he saw the broken sword. And before, uh, and like before, he gave me a choice. You mean choice? He, he, oops. Yeah. So it was the same choice? No. It was different. I think it's always been different, depending on the circumstances. I don't know what the choice is when you face him and what way you're supposed to, but I'm showing up as this bleeding bird sprite holding his broken sword. It's a pretty odd situation. What did he make you decide? Uh, he sees I got his sword and he busted. And you can tell he's pissed, but like before, it's like restrained anger. Like, he's always just about to fl fucking flip, but he still keeps it together. So he tells me he can repair it. And the Deringer with the forge lit, he can repair anything. But there's one thing he had to choose. So I said to fix the sword, as opposed to what? It doesn't really matter. I just thought it would make the sword uh, felt like the right thing. Making... Okay. Deringer. Deringer? Derringer. Dern Derringer. Sorry, I just thought of something. Um thing that I need to remember to do. Uh, for uh, town of nowhere, figured I'd write it down real quick while I remembered. So I gave him the sword, and all uh, still wasn't that simple. And he needed lava from the forge to make it, which means the inkata had to be a weight. That that's how you, that's uh knuckles, right? Our decisions had to be the same kind of truce to make it happen. See, this is what I mean about it being complicated. Yeah. 
So Jade must have done the right to wake her up and get the forge going. Don't know what she did, though. Probably something amazing. She still worked so hard to help everyone. I guess I used to be that way, but I've completely forgotten how. Are you sure? What's happening? Reckoning. It's getting close to the end. The meteors are getting close, uh, getting by the portals. The battlefields will probably be wiped out soon. Can we do anything to stop it? Would there be a point? I don't know. Thank you for the five bits. It's called the Royal Derringer. It's a sword Jack used to kill the Black Queen and became the beast that he is now. Stable time loops and all that. All right. What is Greek Roman shit doing in this game? I don't even know, man. Um, would there be a point? I don't know. I like it here, though. I felt like I was drawn uh, to come here. Wasn't sure where to go. Yeah, me too. The meteors and all the fire reminds me of when I died and when I was trying to wake up John. I was scared then, too, but I didn't let the fear stop me from trying to save him. What would you want to do if you weren't scared? I had I have no idea. I guess try and help. What is there to do? Well, I was going to bring him uh, this sword to Dave. Oh, no. Does that mean you're going to leave? No. I was going to say I'm not in any shape to do any more adventuring. I figured this is probably my last stop. But maybe this is the way you can help. You mean I should give him the sword if you want? But I don't want to leave you here either. Maybe, but you don't actually have to go anywhere. You ought to have a lot of special powers, remember? Because you ascended to doghood? Oh, yeah. Try doing spacey things. I mean, not to sound condescending or anything like that. It's just borderline omnipotence, pretty much. Just put your mind to it. All right, I'll try. Oh, wonderful. Another interrupt. Oh, it's that again. Cool. So you just she just teleported the sword. I think we'll probably call it once I... Uh get through with this page if this makes sense because uh i am i am definitely running out of fuel is that the story ended up uh on durst for dave to break and you're right okay cool so i'm actually reading these kind of in order not really there's no order to it it's just kind of yeah um what the hell are you doing now seriously why did you go back to see her didn't mention it last time listen fuck ass Jade? What? No, surely that's not Jade. She actually said fuck ass? Oh my god. Like, I say that. I say fucker and, and shit. But holy fuck. She's done being baby. She wants power and wants to say fuck. Well, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's on the chart. Yeah, that is on the chart. I forgot. Anyway, uh, I'm going to need a password before we can continue. Please. Right. Okay, let's see if I can remember. Uh, it was pretty elaborate if I recall. Here it goes. I'm a disgusting, worthless build stack of a gargantuan teat of a laboring, leprous muscle beast. My self-esteem is so small that existence is a matter of conjecture among theoretical physicists. I smell so bad the stench cannot be expressed with even the most eloquent, florid language. My The odor my body makes has made poets cry. I have won special awards for discovering new places to touch myself. Uh, I don't know if I want to read all of this out loud. Like, D do it. I feel like this is one of those, like, you know, why, like, yeah, A, because it's a slur, but also B, because, like, I don't want to be, like, have any of this taken out of context. Uh, when I say, like, the R word or something, yeah, it's, it's a thing, right? Um, 
Do it but screaming. $25. No, I'm reading it with... Yeah. People who hate you will just splice your words anyway. Fine. But you see what I mean? No, it's not about the slurs. It's about anything that could be possibly read out of context. <laughs> they just later have it. Uh, I unfairly pulverized the competition and asshole pageants. I have received a lifetime ban from an ugly contest by the present shitface himself. My blood is not fit to flow through the sewer. I am a sign, and my sign is a pictographic symbol that loosely translates to please hike up these pants up to this guy's armpits, chain him to a flogging jut. So this is definitely done after that that thing became a meme. And uh, make a fucking example out of this sorry sack of shit. And when I look in the mirror, my reflection slowly shakes his head while I wet myself in shame. What was it? Wait. That was it, wasn't it? How is that not it? Did I forget a apostrophe somewhere? No, Carcat. That's not quite the password. But you're on the right chat. Uh, track. Can we just talk now? Do you remember the right password? Something along some gratuitous self-deprecation forced into my mouth involving reference to some kind of weird human coupling ritual? You're being deliberately dumb. It was, if I hate myself so much, then why don't I hate marry myself, remember? I was just using the password system to poke a little fun at you, and you're turning into this whole overdramatic thing. Haha, -ha, we. Can we get down to fucking business again? That, that was it. That's all that she asked him to say. Jesus Christ. In a... Hate marriage? Boomer? Uh, I wonder if we'll be able to start this conversation without having a ridiculous argument about the par password system. If you would drop the password system and let future me talk to you, he might be able to give you an answer. Spoilers. The answer would be no, because passwords are... I'm very tired. That was one of the last times the R, use, R word was used in Homestuck. And yet, here it is. The next page. <laughs> uh... That was, you know, why would I want to do that? The only guy who's dumber than past car cat is future car cat and vice versa. I have this on good authority from both sources. I still think that your use of terms is kind of asinine. And there is really no past or future car cat from your view. There's only the car cat who knows less stuff and the car cat who knows more stuff. Why not gather a bunch of facts on the one who already has got the lowdown already? I mean, I do it myself, but I can't stand the guy. See, that's your problem. You have many, many problems. I have no patience to do things the right way. You're always just looking for a shortcut. Even if doing so has brought you nothing but trouble hundreds of times before. It's sort of funny that the only way thing standing in your way is one of your other problems. Your own preposterous self-loathing. You can't even trust your future self to help you cheat. It's like you have so many problems, they cancel each other out. Yeah, why doesn't present car cat just message future car cat and be like hey what's the password i'm about to talk to her this is what's going on in my life what's the password there's literally no reason that he couldn't do that it's because he literally hates himself that much god he needs to see a therapist he's in a um hold up I'm going to make a joke, but I just need to, to have a setup and make sure I, like, checks out. He's in a Gary Ash with himself. Is that a thing you could do? Um, Carcat finds a way. Yes. Uh, only with Carcat. You know what? That's fine. He said it himself. And Jade is the Meowth. Yes. Uh, that's not the only thing standing in my way. It's your stupid passwords also standing in my way. Um, 
that I could be fast tracking the solution uh, to the city for both of us. Exactly. Okay, whatever. Let's just get on with this linear conversation, okay? So you gave me the silly pastor and we ended our conversation a few minutes ago from my end. And we scanned ahead looking for a good moment in your timeline to pick it up again. I noticed you went back to see her again for some reason. Yes. Well, I'm just wondering why. What happened to the frog uh, breeding? I thought we were on a roll with that. Yes, we still are. This little detour was related to that task. We should be nearly done. Uh, what was she even saying to you? I can't understand a word of that horrific gibberish. I can understand it just fine. I just don't really get it. Why was my denizen was such a nightmare while yours was apparently giving you guttural putt talks about Byzantine monster night, uh, language? We already talked about this. The enchilada... And I have understanding now. Ooh, vague bullshit. That is, it's exactly the fucking thing I can't get enough of. Well, maybe if you weren't such a grumpy or such a grumpy hurry all the time, you were and wouldn't have killed your citizens so quickly. You might have actually learned something. Huge ugly monsters are for killing, period. Did you ever talk to Kanea about it? I don't remember. Maybe. I'm a busy guy. Jade, I don't have a lot of people... I, I talked to people a lot about a lot of stuff, including myself. Her situation was very similar to mine. I thought she killed her descendant to light the forge or something. It doesn't sound like you got the whole story. Or maybe you weren't listening to her. When did I say I was shipping Carcat? When did I say those words? Why? I look over at chat and they're like, even Rev ships it. It's like, what? Oh, the Gary Ash thing. Yeah, but that's like, that's not like them wanting to fuck. That's different. There's a Town of Nowhere new playlist on Spotify. It's like a, a fan contribution thing. Um, um, I've never listened to Lemon Demon before. Um, I'll let you know. Um, my experience with Lemon Demon was very much like listening to Lemon Demon for the first time. Um, and I've had two trucks stuck in my head since last night. Um... But it's on that list. My muscles, my muscles involuntarily flex. Yeah, why the fuck is that happening? I'm listening to the song. I, I just sat down and listened to the whole place list because it was it was good. It's Yeah, there you go. Uh Luxray Tale. It's on the Reddit as well for anyone on After Hours wondering where this playlist is. You can find it there. Uh Redesign your logo would be right up your alley. What? Oh, Redesign Your Logo is such a good song. I thought you were telling me to redesign my logo, and I'm like, no, I'm pretty happy about it. Why are you telling me that? It doesn't sound like you got the whole story, or maybe you just weren't listening. Well, I sure don't think it was whatever you did. In any case, I thought all that was over with. Why are you back? Does this have something to do with frog breeding? It was just Kanea's suggestion. Kanea's still helping you? Yes. I'm talking to her right now, actually. Oh, I see her across the room. She's actually not talking to anyone on her computer right now. Of course not. She's from a different time than you, genius. Which time? A few hours in your future. I see how it is. You won't talk to future Carcat until I jump through your fucking password hoops and become him eventually, but you'll talk to future Kanea just like that. Double Sander and anybody? Jade says yes, please. Uh, you are so ridiculous. 
I have Kanea using the same password system as you. She's just a little further ahead in my timeline is all. I would, it would be pretty hard to keep you both synced up. I thought you didn't want this shit spoiled from the future though. Yeah, from my future. I don't want you guys telling me things I do before I do them because you talk to future me. But knowing a few things about your future doesn't really matter. Not that I'm going to tell you any of it, so don't ask. I'm on the verge of becoming a very religious person. I didn't know where else to turn to remove the awesome suffering that Trollian's temporal chat bullshit miraculously continues to inflict on me. Maybe mirthful messiahs will come down and take my pain away? Oh yes, that sounds heavenly. Jade, please excuse me while I go paint my face and outwardly reflect the beauty of my inward awakening and drub my think pan mercilessly to reduce my intelligence to that level necessary to sustain these beliefs what are you even talking about are we almost done crafting the master plan i have stuff to attend to here my tim is falling apart i can't find gamzee anywhere and i'm worried that he might have wandered off somewhere and got hurt oh well you'll find him i thought you weren't telling me about my future i know i made an exception but only one let's move this along just update me on the frogs and give me a new password kanea thinks we should all uh talk about this she says you're important to consult on the matter, but uh, the you from her time is too busy. Busy with what? She's opening the memo. He's becoming a clown. Read that one, and so it's just this one. <sighs> Words. That's an awful color. I remember now. I was tricked by a troll into flying up into the last gate using this rocket pack. She said I could take a shortcut to go kill my dream or my Dizzen while you're sleeping. It did not quirk, quite work out that way. It sounds like Trizzy's handiwork. I don't know. She didn't tell me her name. It's a blind troll. She told me this incredibly shitty map for me to follow. Yep, that's her. I guess she got both of us then. Unbelievable. She tricked you too? Yeah. Well, not tricked. She just made me. Uh, made a pointless coin flip and then stabbed me in the back. It's pretty cool. Blooded. Someone asked who would win in a fight between Vriska and Magnus. Magnus's weapon of choice is a spear. And he's a psychic, so he knows the future. And in fact, it's why he got in trouble in the first place. My point is that Vriska is very susceptible to being stabbed and people who know how to tell the future. So, um, Magnus the Red wins this fight. But Vriska has all the luck. Sure. Did, I mean, that didn't seem to work, though. Well, not tricked. So much as made a pointless coin flip stab me in the back. That was pretty cold-blooded. Oh, sure. She's easily the most underhanded and villainous member of our group. Says fucking Vriska. But I did not let my guard down, even when she stabbed me. I'm not sure. I, I sure didn't think I was going to die. Why not? Turns out my immortality isn't all it's cracked up to be. Let's leave it to that. That. So I got. So I never got around to getting your immortality, like you said, or killing me, or for that matter. Sounds like the blind troll beat you to it. No, I did, but this would be hard for me to explain to you. Explain what? I guess in her own sick way, she actually uh, set us up on this date together. I thought it wasn't a date though. Maybe I should go thank her whenever she falls asleep or dies, God forbid. So, now this is a date? Ah. Uh, I said it wouldn't be unless if you remembered, and now you remember. But I still don't but you still don't remember do me, do you? Nope. Thought so. This version of you died when we started meeting with you. Not that I expect you to understand what that means. No, I get that. If I decided to take the shortcut, I would have lived, and then I would have talked to you would have talked to me a lot, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm being a manipulative bitch from beyond the grave. I guess I should have learned to give you more credit by now. Well, I might not have figured that out if not for, well, some things that just happened. I can't believe this meeting a uh, version of you that doesn't remember a thing about me. None of my great exploits or any of the ways that I helped you. Only the one stupid time that I taunted you. It's vaguely frustrating feeling. Sorry, not sure what to tell you. 
So I remember literally nothing I've told you about myself. Not even the uh, compromising stuff. Who well, did show me around your planet, which is pretty cool. There's compromising stuff? Your species would think so. But I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I guess not. But who's to say we can't uh, get to know each other again? You wouldn't find that boring? No way. Not if you wouldn't. I mean, I feel like John wouldn't find it boring because he'd get to meet an alien. But she's already met him once. Uh, you said the name of the blind troll who killed us, but you've not told me yours yet. I haven't? No. It's Vriska. It's nice to meet you, Vriska. It's not. It's not actually. Spoilers. It's not nice to meet her. In fact, it's the opposite of nice. I'm John, even though you already knew that. Yes. So, now what do we do? Aside from be dead for probably ever. Man, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, you should tell me how you died. And what those things that just happened you were talking about? Like I said, it flew up at the last gate like this. Nice boots. Sorry, I should, like, spend... Oh. I should spend a little more time. It's like, oh, I didn't... I didn't do the things, but... I, I have been looking at the banners. We just haven't seen many. Shoes. Yes. Oh, thank God. Oh, there's an S? Really? In the middle of this? It brought me inside this place. It was huge. It took me a long time to explore. It was eerily empty, too. I had a weird feeling that we were getting this place in a video game was not supposed to be yet because you don't have the po right power-ups and such. You know what I mean? Not really. I used to be taking shortcuts whenever I play games. Oh, okay. So I started playing... Uh, sorry, started getting crazy nervous the longer I was down here, and I started to wonder if my silly iron pogo hammer would even do damage against the monster. What? Against the denizen? Of course that piece of shit isn't going to do anything. If I were you, I would have chucked it into the forge. Excuse me, is it called the wrinkle fucker? And it is amazing. It might be alright if you combined it with something else. Awesome. Like some cool dice, for instance. That's absurd. Like anything like that would ever even happen. So what if there's an S? I see what you did there. Whale sounds. What's this? I found it in a very deep uh, play palace dungeon. I was wandering for hours, following a horrible sound through the pipes. I could tell Typhus was really close because it was very loud here. I could tell... I could only... It could only be the sound of him sleeping. I was so tempted to play it, but I didn't dare risk waking him up. And pretty much by then, I was sweating bullets at the thought of confronting him. You were right to be nervous. Denizens are incredibly powerful monsters. You had no chance whatsoever at this stage of the game. You might have stood a chance if you start if I started helping you, but Trizzy really screwed you over by leading here so early. Why the fuck did she do this? Um, yeah, I guess if I ever see her, I should thank her too. Why? Because this was important. What was? Getting killed by a monster? Well, yes, but not that. The whole ruse was important. If I didn't make the decision to go, then Dave might not be able to go back in time and fix things. And in fact, if I didn't die here in this palace, we wouldn't... Okay. The troll hint. Just to fuck with him. Just to fuck around. Mess with the timeline. Cause problems. On purpose. They thought the kids were at fault for Jack, so they just were fucking with the kids. I see. If I didn't make decisions to go, then J Dave would not be able to go back in time and fix things. And in fact, if I didn't die here in the first place, we never would have been born in the first place. How do you know all this? This way. And the citizen does not look asleep to me. Nope. He was wide awake when I found him. Practically crapped my pants. Well, this explains your quick death. If your denizen was anything like mine, it wouldn't have wasted much time before unleashing a huge shitstorm of devastating monster magic. What was your denizen like? Her name was Cestus. Cetus? Cestus is a, a type of, um, like, boxing glove. Different thing. Spelled differently. I think there's an A in there. 
She was this awful sea monster. Her lair was deep underground amidst a bunch of shipwrecks. She was quite vicious and territorial. I knew I had to kill her quickly to release the horde before uh, she had a chance to do anything tricky. And what do you mean tricky? Did she talk to you? Of course. She was babbling in riddles throughout most of the fight. I wasn't paying much attention. I mean, the creature doesn't speak to you in f boring riddles in this game. So... Is that all you did? Kill your denizen as fast as possible without listening to them? Yeah, pretty much. We we're pretty good players, remember? So I've heard. Well, I can't exactly speak for everyone, but there's a lot going on. I don't know how people went about beating their denizens. For instance, I'm not sure how each hero breathed it. Maybe the monster was just released uh, the horde out for them to pity? Out of pity? Or maybe just talked to his denizen? There's no way to avoid a tough battle. I'm sure he found it. Uh, if there's any way to avoid a tough battle, I'm sure he found it. Sounds like a good way to cheat yourself out of a lot of sweet EXP and loot, though. Uh, I don't know. You might be surprised. John, are you saying you had a nice, friendly chat with this hideous, bloodthirsty creature before he killed you? Yes. Typhus might not be pretty to look at, but he's not a bad guy at all. So, basically, they, they do talk. And once you kill them, the forge gets lit, I guess. And so, in John's Doom timeline, he just, like, talked to it because it was fucked. This is the end of the Vriska arc. She's gonna ghost around with John for the hell of it the rest of the time after this. A little bit of a spoiler, I guess, but thank you for the five bits. Remember this. Killer defeat. More on that later. Seems like she's acting out again. Uh, certain all these clippings will have to wait while I set her her down i apologize profusely please continue to accept uh help yourself to serve a soul command in my absence as a first class host i kept an ample supply at hand for all times oh good there's more Hey, let's check out the art. Um, there's new arts here. Um, uh, it starts here. This is the uh the playlist as well. If you want to listen to it, um, it's not even nine yet. Yeah, but I'm also t fucking dead. Um, I didn't sleep much last night. I want to make sure I did some reading today because it is a homesuck day. I'll do more reading in a couple days. I want to be able to give people a chance to watch uh the video and we're just gonna try and read basically every other day um i'm sorry guys um i i just i don't know if i can handle um more of that right now and i don't think i'm like processing information anymore uh cinemax made one of the shirts that's on my shirt store uh and it's available through um I would rather understand what's happening in Home Suck than just read shit just for the sake of reading shit. Uh, will I be streaming tomorrow? Yes. Uh, I'm going to be trying to stream every single day. Um, I was talking about it earlier when I was talking about the Humble Bundle and how everyone's just kind of looking for a way to try and help. And I feel like this is my way to help right now. Um, me streaming is my way of helping. Um, I think that's that's the best I can do. I don't have any skills being a doctor. I, I can't um, make things. I can just, you know, you know, I, I see that there's a couple hundred people in chat. There's a couple hundred people who are at home sitting down, not doing stuff. Um, that's, that's, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the, the, the correlation between number of people who, you know, end up surviving for each person who stays at home but you guys are doing your part by being here and and staying at home as much as possible i know some of you still have to work and some of you wish you could work um but you know just i don't know if you think of ways to help each other do it during this time um i hope this helps uh cinemax thank you for the art We're stuck at house. I know. You're all stuck at, at home. 
Um, Alchemy, I should say, thank you, Cinemax. Uh, thank you, Alchemy, uh, for this art. It, not to get political or anything, but what the fuck is gay? Yeah, I mean, he really doesn't have any fucking concept of the term. Like, I don't really have... I don't really ever understand why they have genders or sex. Like, it doesn't matter. I guess it's just for the sake of having pronouns to make it easier for humans. They just kind of fucking throw a... I don't know. Throw some, like, slime in a bucket and there you go. To maximi maximize shipping. Sure. Felt like being your girl, I guess. I mean, sure. Fuck it. I guess that's how it works. Mr. Bucket. Balls. Bucket. For trolls, I guess it's like hair color. It doesn't matter for reproduction, but everyone's still different. But people probably have... Okay. Sure. Oh, we got this one from Solar Mage. Um, and it's of Iridin. The worst boy. Thank you. It's purple. It's a good art. Um, we've got this one from very good artists. Wow, I sure can't wait to read all of this motherfucking homestonk. How high do you even have to be to do something like this going over here in Hans? Who's this huge bips? No, man, what are you even doing right now, Mr. Bucket? Sex. Holy shit, distraction. <laughs> now it's time for Bilbo posting. Fucking incredible. Oh, I love it. It's so incredibly shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how these streams do. Uh, very good artist. Thank you um, for the the art. It's it's wonderful. This is the stream. This is how this fucking stream works. Actually, chat is just going wild. I don't know if you're here or not, but chat is just like this is incredible. This is literally the stream. And then Dromi. I love that you added him. Like my favorite Homestuck character, legitimately Dromi. It's great. Um, we got this one from Anna LRK and it's, uh, it says, but I don't want you to die. It's Dave trying to like get this situation on lockdown with, uh, Dromi versus mayor. Okay. That's a sad or a straight up fight. Um, this was, this is a, a rough conversation. Uh, and I feel like because I'm like not all here, I didn't really process it correctly, but this is a, this was, yeah. I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like she's got, she's got a lot of problems. She's got a lot of rage that she's going through right now. Hence the whole grim dark thing. And, uh, is it kind of becoming self-destructive because of it? It really does capture the moment fairly well. Emotional whiplash right here. Um, you guys having a fun time? Now you're not. <laughs> it's good art, though. It's the point. It's how it gives us that emote. Um, then we got this one from Bionic Robot. Um, it's the worst girl. Just being herself. Straight back into a huge bitch. The 13-year-old kids. Yeah, they, they, they've they gone through a lot for 13-year-olds. Goblins. Thank you, Vyther, of uh, this, this blurring of the line between me and Dave. Um, it's wonderful. 
Why fuck the goblins? Bottled the trolls! Those are bro shades. Yeah? Well, you know what they say. Let's just, uh, here, hold up. I said, you know what they say. Uh, sorry, this is taking longer than I thought. Hold up, hold up. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Alright, now, now you know what they say. I'll see you guys uh, around tomorrow. Hopefully you had a good stream. Stand by for the raid. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.